Right, hello, welcome to our success factors how to series on goal management. Goal management is important for every organization because it ensures that the employees are aligned. This means that employees are working on goals that are relevant to their general organizational goals. Now to do this, managers set goals for the di their direct reports. Now, success factors offers a very convenient way for managers to set goals for their direct reports seamlessly. Now to do this, the manager just logs into the system and then comes to the home drop down menu and then clicks on it. This displays different modules in success factors and different apps which are used in success factors. All right, for the goal management, the manager navigates to goals and then clicks on the goals. Now, that displays the manager's goal plan. Now over here, the manager can just click on the plus add goal tab, all right? Now, when that is done, three options are displayed. So the first one is create a new goal, second one is a goal wizard, and then the third one is copy from other goal plan. Now, the goal wizard helps the manager to set smart goals, okay? so. SMART goals are just goals which are specific, they are measurable, they are achievable, they are relevant, and they are also time bound. So the solution is configured in such a way that the manager will navigate through different sessions in order to achieve a goal that is SMART. Okay, so the first session is specific, then after the specific, the manager moves to the measurable session and then to the attainable session and then relevant and then time bound. All right, so in that order, just to create a goal that is smart for the direct reports. Now, the manager can also copy from other goal plans. So the EJ I'm looking at right now is 2018 goal plan. All right, so the manager can choose from other GS goal plan. So we're seeing 2019 goal plan. The manager can just navigate to that goal plan and then choose a goal from that session. All right. Now, today we just want to set a goal using the create new goal feature. All right. So the manager will click on that. And then after clicking on that, this the page that is displayed allows the manager to choose between personal goals and then library goals. So personal goals are very flexible and allows the manager to set his own goal and then to add his own metric, all right? Now with the library goals, however, success factors have leading best practice goals compiled in the system, all right? And this come also with their suggested metrics. So today we are gonna set a goal from the leading best practice goals. So we click on the library goals. Now after clicking on that, this page displays where we have different categories, uh, depending on how you want to look at a different department or different sessions in the company. All right. So we have administration, customer service, finance and accounting. All right. I want us to set a goal from the IT category. All right, so after clicking on that, another menu appears where we can have a subcategory like application development, backup and recovery, data management, application management, and all of that. So we're gonna set a goal from the application development subcategory. Now, under that too, you have different leading best practice goals compiled already in the system, and it's available out of the box. So to select any one of these, you check the box by that particular goal, and then you click on the add selected. Now clicking on the add selected displays this page where we have different sessions of the goal. The visibility part of the goal helps the manager to either hide a goal from other people or to display the goal for other people to see. So if the manager wants the goal to be private, there's that option to click on private where only the manager will see the goal. But I want to set a public goal, so I'll maintain the public option. 
the goal name helps the manager to describe the goal. Uh, this is highly editable, okay? So I can include a measure, let's say 90% back free code. Now, when it comes to the metric, we're looking at how we're going to measure the success of the goal. Okay, so this is also um, out of the box configured already, which is also very editable. All right, so if the manager doesn't want to use the bug grids or wants to use another measure, the manager can just edit that and then use that as the metric. Now, the start date displays when the goal starts running so when the manager or the direct report will start working on the goal and then the due date shows when the goal is expected to have ended all right so let me say i want to start the goal in 2020 january and then i want to end still in 2020 by this time in december now the status of the goal displays the state of the goal. So let's look at the options available. Now, if you're setting a goal right now, you haven't started working on the goal, you have the option to choose not started. There's also the on track if you're already working on the goal. So you get to choose on track and then behind. All right, there's also an option we have completed, we have canceled. So depending on the state of the goal, as of the time the manager is setting the goal. All right, or the employee setting the goal. You can just choose anyone. So I'm gonna choose on track, which simply means that I'm already working on the goal. Now, once that is selected, then we also have an option to display the percentage complete. So since I'm on track, I'm already working on it. Probably I have gone 30% into the goal already. And so that'll be my percentage complete. If the goal, however, it's not started, then the percentage complete will be maintained at 0 0.00. After that, you just click on the save changes. Now, once you click on the save changes, you are brought into the manager's goal plan portal where the goal that you just created is displayed. That will be all for today. In today's lesson, you learned how to set goals using the goal plan. I hope you enjoy the class or the lesson. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel already, kindly click on the subscribe button and then also click on the bell icon. You can also reach us using the handle Personal Systems Limited on any social media platform. It was nice coming your way. Until the next time, it's goodbye. Now, thank you.